I meant to bring one. Uh, I did too, <laughs> but I didn't. Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, happy new year. Happy How about this? Happy January. <laughs> it's much? a new year. I can't believe it. <laughs> that it is. Here we are. How is everyone's January going so far? Uh, so far, so good for me. So far, so good. <laughs> so we are here kicking off our show today. We're going to talk about the numbers in 2021, which were, you know, staggering. I mean, record setting in many markets. That's right. Our top story today is the numbers for 2021. That's right. <laughs> Um, so I kind of have a lot of data here, but I wanted to give the highlights. And so I'm going to start um, with uh, Ventura County here. There's, I've got to get you guys up live so I can see you, so I can see your comments. Um, the overall uh, price, I want to talk about listings. Listings were up 14% last year. So 2020, the listings, you know, sky just went straight down out after first quarter of 2020. We all yeah. know what happened. Yes, yes, we do. They came up a little bit, but now they're record low. The graph goes like this and then straight down where we are now. So if 2020, they were here. Now we're down here as far as new listings. So that's why you're feeling the market being so tight because inventory is very tight. You know, wait, wait a minute. So listings went down in 2020 mm -hmm. have they continued to go down as well they have continued to go down even though this the the, the statistics say that they went up 14 percent overall in 2021 over 2020 that's what i'm comparing is the whole year of 2020 to the whole year of 2021 that's not what we're feeling as the market has gotten tighter here okay so listings there's more listings in 2021 than there were listings in 2020 Yes, but the but the graph continues to decline on new li listings coming on the market. So sold listings. Well, wait, wait, so there's a correlation there. Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. I mean, and the correlation is there's more buyers in the market now than there were in 2020. So more buyers in the market in 2021 than there were in 2020, but the listings have gone up. Correct. Fourteen percent. Is the number of listings on the market because I think people in 2020 may or may not have put their house on the market because it was things were uncertain, but we had more houses on the market in 2021. Um, but it's it, it it seems odd just because um, I, I should have the 2019 number here, but I don't to show the correlation before we've had the hiccup in the market. <laughs> okay. Well, no, I'm just asking the question because yeah? you said it went straight down, but Well, look at here's the graph. No, I can show show you right here. It's no, going no, straight down. No, I understand that. No, I'm in the market. I, I get it. I just I just didn't get it the way you were explaining it because okay. listings were actually up. Yes. Even versus though, 2020. Versus 2020. Okay. And so 2020 was an anomaly year. <laughs> So then the sold listings, because so if, if new listings coming on the market were up 14%, sold listings were only up 7%. So you want to fi figure that out. I don't know, because that's not what it feels like. Okay, so sold listings up 7%. Overall listings up 14%. No, you're right. These, these are counterintuitive numbers, but they right. are the numbers. They are the numbers, but that's why I'm, I want to go through them because what the market feels like and what we're seeing in the market don't really reflect what these numbers say. Um, average listing price uh, was up 12.87%, uh, so almost 13%. Average closed price, sold price, is up 16%, 2021 versus 2020. And it was up quite a bit in 2020 also, I think almost 20 percent yep. in 2020. Yep, 20%, so, 16, so 36% in Ventura County. Ventura County. For 2020, 2021. That's right. <laughs> and, and now we're in 2022. Something we had never <laughs> seen until 2020 was the list to sold ratio um, that you can expect to pay over 100% of asking price and the averages even come out to show that. So the list to sold ratio is at 102.2%. Um, 
So when you come in and think you're going to offer less than the asking price or you're going to, you know, lowball offer, you're not going to get it because even in the averages in the market, things are closing at 102.2% of the asking price. Right. So it looks like the asking or list price is a great place to start, mm -hmm. but you probably want to go over that if you want to get the property. That's right. Um, so in Ventura, I just did a few things here just to kind of balance, look, look at a few cities in our market. And Ventura, you can expect to pay 102% of the asking price. The average year built of all the properties in Ventura, 1969. So how old are you? Are you older or younger than the average house in Ventura? Well, and like if you, if you take Midtown, you've got properties that were built in 1929 and part of Midtown. The rest of Midtown built in 1959. Right. So just in that one area, you've got, you know. Skewing to the older side. Um, average sales price, 950. So these numbers are crazy. Camrio expect to pay 103% of the asking price. Average year built, 1978. That, that's a stat that I just never seen, so I thought I'd share it. Average sales price, 936,000 in Camarillo. Um, and then I threw a thought, I'd throw Montecito in there just for fun. <laughs> expect to pay 103% of asking price. Average year built, 1966. And the average sales price, $5.3 million. Yeah, Montecito jumps up quite a bit. Yes. It, so. um, yeah, we talked, we were on a call the other day with some of our top agents, and they are just, that are in Montecito, just like how crazy it's been there. Yeah, yes, and doing like 60 transactions last year mm -hmm. at $5 million a piece. So yeah. that's, that's a lot of money. Big numbers. <laughs> mm -hmm. So based on what you've gone so far, what's the best way? to get an offer accepted in this market? Well, be prepared to compete. <laughs> <laughs> and, and sometimes it might not be just price, you know, maybe terms or condition, you'll take it as is, uh, or you will pay for the inspections, you might pay um, some of the closing costs, you know, there's other ways to, to sweeten the deal uh, depending on your situation. Maybe you'll take it with the tenants in it, uh, if you will take the property with the tenants. Maybe you'll take it with the seller in it. If you'll take it with the seller in it. <laughs> yeah, maybe the seller needs a couple months to find a property to buy. So maybe you'll take it and give the seller a couple months rent back. I mean, there's lots of creative ways that we can come up with, depending on your needs, uh, to help get your offer accepted. Yeah. On the other side of that, if you're thinking about selling a house, now is the time. I ran the numbers, the current properties for sale just in the city of Ventura, there are 35. It has never been that low, ever. I Ever. I mean, it's usually around, you know, 100, <laughs> kind of 100 and up. I mean, usually like, you know, 10 years ago, it was way up. But I mean, 150, 140, now it's 35. So you see why the competition's so tight. Yes, and if you go back far enough, when we had some things going differently in the market than they are right now, you were looking at close to 300 properties. So yes. from 300 properties to 35 properties is a big swing for the sellers. Right. Sellers are definitely, it's a seller's market. Absolutely, so you wanna jump the gun and get a hold of all these buyers that are in the marketplace before kind of the spring market. Now is the time, because competition is fierce for your property right now. To give you an idea, I ran the numbers in, in the main sit, uh, sit, cities in Ventura County. The numbers of properties that are available for sale is about half what they were last summer. So the numbers I have from August, the numbers now, it's about half of the inventory available than was available on the market last summer. That's staggering. Multiple offers on every single mm -hmm. property out there. Mm -hmm. And if it's been on the market for a while, there's a reason. And it could be price. You can't just domineer the market and say, hey, if I got X, I'll sell it. Because you do have to be within the market confines to get an offer. But once you're there, you're probably going to set a new record on what you're going to get for your house. Yeah. The experts are saying, you know, it's going to 2022 predictions. It's going to continue to be a seller's market. But interest rates were record low last year in 2021 in the history of real estate. And they continue to be low, um, even though all the talk, and they've come up a little bit. But a little bit compared to what? I mean, in 1970s, they were almost 9%. In 1980s, they were almost 13%. Um, in 2000, they were 6.5%. And now they're still you know, hovering around three. 
um, maybe a little over three. That's still record number for your interest rate. Great. The couple of market key indicators that we'll be looking at this year, of course, is inflation. Inflation mm -hmm. seems to be a lot higher than it's been in the last 30 or 40 mm -hmm. years. And interest rates. So interest rates as inflation heats up and it's pretty hot right now, then you're going to look at higher interest rates and higher interest rates are going to, they think, slow down the market, but you can't slow down the market with this lack of inventory. Right. And that's what they're saying, that the millennial generation, that's 25 to 35 year olds, there's 45 million of them. And they are going to be the biggest push of buyers coming in the next year or two, three. Um, and they are, as they are forming families and need um, homes, they are moving out to the suburbs. And they are not just moving to the suburbs, but they're moving to less expensive cities now that they can take their job with them. Um, they are moving, but they are a huge buyer pool that is in the market now. Oh, absolutely. The millennials are highly trained. And they have the option of not going into the office every mm -hmm. day. They can work at home. That means they can commute. In fact, we've heard of some people uh, commuting, uh, you know, out of state. Mm -hmm. Not unheard of mm -hmm. at all. So suburbs, you get a little larger lot, you grab a pool, you be closer to the beach. Yeah, one of the th key things they want is flex space. So they want flex space to work from home for kids, for schooling, exercising, um, and enter entertaining because entertaining at home is back in vogue. Stay home and entertain at home and cook at home. Uh, so you need more space and flex space to do that. Yeah, now what does flex space actually look like? Depends what you need it for. <laughs> <laughs> flex space to me like a bigger garage. Yeah, well, you, you never know. <laughs> Family room, game room. Uh, we don't have a lot of them in our market, but they do in other markets. Right, open concept, I think, would right. be more of a flex space. So one of the um, greatest hedges against inflation is real estate, is having a fixed payment. So if you have a low interest rate and a fixed housing payment, it's one of the best ways to hedge against inflation. Absolutely. Your money in the bank's getting just eroded away. They're not paying any interest on it. So a lot of people are taking their money out of the bank and buying investment properties. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the update. We see it continuing to be a seller's market. There are a lot of buyers in the market that are looking and looking. Um, don't get frustrated. Hang in there. Uh, we know the inventory, it's going to hopefully continue to grow this year. That's my prediction. We're going to have more inventory come on as people have made lots of different decisions in their lives and their families' lives in the last two years. So we have found out one of the most important things when you're dealing locally is relationships with other people. Mm -hmm. That seems to make all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. That's right. So when you're looking to buy or sell, you want to talk about real estate investment property, we'd love to talk to you here in Ventura County. You can always find us at GaryAndLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Happy New Year. See you next time.